Hey guys, it's Marie Antoinette with Posh Paper Perfection and welcome to my channel. Here are all the materials that I use to make my slimline Christmas card. All the materials will be listed below in the description. I use the largest compendium die to cut the green and gold paper. Isn't it gorgeous? With the third compendium die, I cut out an ivory cardstock by Anna Griffin and use her slim line flourish embossing folder. The oval dies are from the 3D fancy French frame dies by Anna Griffin. And I cut that out in gold for the largest one and then green and then white all layered on top of each other. The red metallic foil embellishments were cut with the Anna Griffin ornate flourishes cut and embossed folders. Make sure you click on the card above to see my tips and tricks on using cut and emboss folders. Now if you ever used Anna Griffin's embossing folders, you know that the pressure from the impress is pretty great and it can cut through the paper. So I like to use a parchment paper on top of my cardstock. The sleigh and the candy cane came from the Anna Griffin Mini Christmas Sentiment Stickers. When assembling this card, I used an array of different sizes of double-sided adhesive and foam tape. The full list of the adhesives is in the description below. I began by creasing the base of my slimline card with a bone folder and then adhered double-sided tape on the back side of my first and second top layers. I then remove the double-sided adhesive backing from the ivory cardstock and then attach it to the Christmas cardstock base. Sometimes my tape runs off to the edges and I just simply push them in so I can um, make sure that there's no sticky residue on the outside of the card. Now that the second layer, which is the ivory cardstock, is attached to the first layer, which is the Christmas cardstock, I'm going to flip over the Christmas cardstock and remove the backing of the double sided adhesive and attach it to the base of the card. Now it's time to give this card some dimension. And I'm going to take the gold oval and instead of putting a flat double-sided adhesive, I'm going to layer it with foam adhesive. Now I apologize because I got interrupted and I had to pause my video and then I forgot to turn it on. I did not use double-sided adhesive on the green Christmas oval and the ivory oval. And here the green Christmas oval on the gold oval and then the ivory on the Christmas oval. Now I go ahead and put a uh, double-sided adhesive on my embellishments. These ornate flourish embellishments 
look the best when they're paired with florals or greenery. And I had to play around a couple of times to see exactly where I wanted this. Um, I decided that I wanted it underneath my sentiment um, and it ended up being absolutely gorgeous. My sentiment, I ended up putting foam adhesive behind it just to give it a little pop. And looking at it right now, it looks like it is four foam adhesives deep. It does fit in a envelope. Um, it's just, it, you probably will have to um, pay a little bit more for postage if you're sending it off. You can also not layer with foam adhesive. Um, it's just I happen to love stacking my cards. One thing I, I like to do before I start sticking everything together is staging my cards so I can know exactly what it's going to look like. The last thing you want is to put double sided adhesive or take the backing off of your adhesive and then find out that your embellishments look really weird so that's why it looks like I'm fiddling with this and I'm trying to figure out which direction I want it um, I don't know if anyone else struggles with putting on embellishments but once I found that sweet spot then I usually take a picture of it so I know exactly what it looks like and then I'll put the adhesive and put it together um, permanently uh, you may have noticed that I cut the holly leaf and I'm using the cut part also. This is one of my favorite tips and tricks to do if the embellishment is too big and it is a 3D embellishment. And now that I have the layers stacked, the sentiments, and the embellishments on that gold die cut, now I'm going to remove the backing of the foam adhesive and attach it to the card base right in the middle of the card. And the final step is to embellish my card with the mini Christmas stickers. These are my favorite and I think it makes the card look so beautiful. And there you go, that's how I made this card. I have a goal of making three Christmas cards a week from July to December. It's a pretty crazy goal, but I think I'm up for the challenge. I wanna know from you, when do you start your Christmas cards? July, the fall, do you make them all year? I can't wait to read your comments below. Please consider subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. And don't forget, if you want to be notified of the latest videos, please click on the bell.